Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew Lachey. If you don't know already, I am gonna be talking about ways that you can make your closet more organized. There are some basic things that we can all do to make our closet just look more cohesive, more put together, less chaotic. This is part one of this video. Part one, 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 one. I will be dropping a part two soon, so make sure that you stay tuned for that as well for more tips. All right, y'all let's get into it one of the top priority type of things that you need to do to make your closet look more organized is to declutter all of these other tips that we're going to apply wouldn't be very effective and it wouldn't be very worthwhile to apply when your closet is filled with clothes that you probably don't need you probably don't want you probably don't fit i have a whole video on how to declutter your closet and i'll go ahead and link that down below in the description box but just know that decluttering is so vital to even making your closet look more organized because as much as we try to organize it's important to narrow down your options as much as you can i'm not just saying get up and get rid of all your clothes what i am saying is edit down i know it's tedious organization can take you far don't get me wrong but when you have a certain amount of things there's but so much organization can do at that point you would just have to get rid of some things in order for for everything to work better and fit better in your space and thus look more organized. Something that I even had to do and kind of get myself in the mindset of when I was decluttering is all your clothes should have their own home. If anything is hanging, it should be on its own hanger. It shouldn't be sharing a hanger with other items unless it's the kind of hanger that is meant to hold multiple things. So if you have like a tree hanger, for example, or a dress hanger where there's like multiple slots, right, for each dress, then that's different. But if it's just like a single hanger, you got like four different things hanging on there, and don't worry, don't worry because I'm not judging you. I used to do the same thing a lot and that's how I felt like I could just fit more things in the space, but it ends up actually making my closet look more cluttered and it ends up causing me to forget that I have certain things because they're like hiding under other items on the same hanger or they're like being squished to the side and I don't really see them. So because I don't see them, I don't remember them. And because I don't remember them, I don't wear them. And then they just sit there and collect us. The goal should be that each one of your items should have their own home, AKA, all the hanging things should be on their own hanger. It's gonna be an exclusive relationship, no sharing. Besides, it helps you to see your pieces way more easily. Okay, so something that is super duper simple but makes a big difference in making your closet look organized is having the same hanger throughout your entire closet. Something as simple as just having the same kind of hanger makes a big difference because when you got a pink hanger, you got a white hanger, you got a metallic hanger, you got one of those hangers from the dry cleaners. It's so messy looking because there's no consistency. You need consistency when it comes to organization. That's one of the keys. If you're having a whole bunch of different hangers, it does not look consistent at all. I'm not gonna lie. If you gonna buy all the same hangers, it get a little bit pricey. But what I recommend if you cannot go and buy all the same hangers is to at least make sure your hangers are the same color. I personally like to use dress hangers, pants hangers, you know, as space savers. And also this black hanger, it's this like rubber material and it helps things to not slip off of my hangers, which is great. I'll go ahead and link all of those down below or just link my Amazon storefront. So my fourth tip in making your closet look more organized is color coordination. Some people probably would not be able to keep this up and I get it, it takes a lot of intentionality to keep your stuff color coordinated, but I I promise you it makes such a big difference to have things of the same color, or at least a color range in the same sections. And it actually does also help when it comes to picking out an outfit because you know where your black things are, you know where your red things are, your blue things are. And you wanna make sure that the colors are flowing. So you wanna go from like your blues to your greens, to your yellows, to your oranges, to your reds, you know, just like have it flow. If your goal is to make your closet look way more organized, then color coordination is big. And this includes 
include shoes as well. So having everything sectioned off by color is really going to be a game changer. So something that definitely helps to make a closet look cleaner, neater, tidier, more organized is being mindful of the heights of your different clothing and organizing them accordingly. So if you have long dresses, you keep your long dresses together. If you have your short dresses, you keep those together. When you have things of different heights hanging and it's just kind of like sporadic, it looks messy even when it's not messy it just looks messy so when it comes to your shoes if you have a closet or a space where your shoes are being displayed as in they're not in boxes they're not in totes then you want to make sure that you are keeping your shoes in height order you don't want a tall boot here short shoe here you know flat here then another tall boot here you want to keep it nice and consistent when it comes to the height so you have your tall boots in one section you have your three-quarter boots in another section you have your pumps in one section, you have your sneakers in one section, your flats in one section. You just wanna keep it in height order. When you take pictures, you're mindful of like the different heights and you wanna keep it like nice and cohesive. So in the same way, you do that with your closet if your shoes are showing. And last but not least for this video, which is part one, you want to make sure that if your shoes are not on display and they are in boxes, you wanna get rid of all the original boxes and you wanna put your shoes all in the the same boxes this is a game changer if you have like a whole bunch of different shoes but they are all in boxes of different shapes different sizes different colors it looks really really unorganized but if you buy shoe boxes you can get this off of Amazon take your shoes transfer them to these you know protective boxes and it will just look so nice and cohesive what's even better is if you end up getting like clear boxes it makes it very easy to see what is inside the box so it actually really benefits you if you go the clear out but that is something that makes your shoe section look extremely organized again keep things cohesive if you keep things the same and consistent it will always help for things to look organized alrighty y'all so I hope that this was very helpful for you now if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to leave it down below in the comment section and I will get back to you let me know if you found any of this helpful and if you did go ahead and also so give your girl a thumbs up please make sure that you join the family come on over to the bright side by pressing that red subscribe button and please go ahead and turn on that bell notification button so that anytime i post you are going to be notified i appreciate you all make sure that you stay tuned for part two of this video which is coming soon god bless you deuces